Now it's all very well and good looking at new bike components, but to really know what it's all about, we actually need to ride them. And today it's very exciting because I get to check it out for the very first time, SRAM's new red ETAP wireless shifting. Now they've changed the way that we shift gears and it's also their first foray into electronic group sets. So we need to go and check it out. I've got 80 kilometers of German tarmac to do so. And whilst I'm at it, I'm also gonna to talk to a couple of people to find out how SRAM are making sure that this is reliable enough for real world conditions. Let's go check it out. I guess before we even started changing gear, is the ergonomics of the uh, hood itself. Now, the diameter of it is smaller. For anyone who's been riding road bikes for a long time, it might feel kind of familiar. So when shifter levers didn't really have anything inside them, we were able to have smaller diameter levers and it's a bit like that, which I personally really, really like. I guess if you've got enormous hands, it might feel a little bit small, but personally for me, it's really nice to see. Now it's all very well getting my first impressions on the bike after a couple of hours of riding, but Lauren Rowney here has been on this group set for the last eight months or so. So Lauren, maybe you could start off by telling us what your first impressions were, you know, the new shifting pattern, how did that settle with you? Um, well, I put it straight under pressure the first time I used it in uh, Tour Down Under in a Criterium, so I had to learn pretty fast, yeah. 20 minutes before the race, and I mean, that just goes to show that once you get the hang of it, like, it's just second nature, really. And um, I didn't have to think. It just, yeah, it came naturally. It's got to be said, it is intuitive. And someone's just been talking in the group earlier about how if you were to explain how to shift to someone who's never ridden a bike with drop handlebars before, it's going to take quite a while. And actually what this does is it, it does simplify things. And when you actually drill down into it, shifting into an easier gear with one hand and into a harder gear with another one does actually make an awful lot of sense. The paddles themselves feel very similar to the old red ones, potentially slightly bigger, so there's no chance of missing it. And there is a nice positive click every time you make that shift. So you know when you're doing it. What about the speed of shifting though? Now that's always been the feather of a cap of electronic group sets. And this SRAM ETAP is exactly the same. There's no second guessing the shift. There's no point at which you might have to give the lever another little nudge just to get it to actually move. So the shifting is very crisp. There's no delay. It's perceivable to me anyway. As for getting into the big ring, it kind of sounds like it wouldn't necessarily be something that comes naturally to you, but it actually does really work. And what about shifting under pressure then? The gold standard sprint finish, trying to get into 11. Pretty good. Now reliability is obviously always going to be a big question for us bike riders, whether it's at the sharp end of a race, or it's getting you to the end of that sportif you've trained all year for. I'm currently riding next to Scott McLaughlin. So Scott, maybe you could just talk us through your testing protocols. You know, people think about electronic items, and I'm sure they don't think they should really mix with dirt and water and vibration. So, so how exactly have you tested this to make sure it's going to work for us? Sure, so first thing is we've been um, testing in the field and in the lab for over five years already. It's sometimes hard to believe because usually our development cycles are significantly shorter. But yeah, we've been at this for over five years. And um, we've developed a very big battery of both lab testing and sort of formal internal field testing with uh, very specific protocols. So whether it's uh, water ingress or dust ingress or crash damage or you know extremes of 
in, in both directions of heat and humidity and cold, um, we've done an enormous amount of laboratory-based testing. And in addition to that, at any given time over the past couple of years, we've had at least 100 systems in use in the field. The next under pressure test. Climbing, as you can see, I'm in 53.25. Isn't necessarily top gear changing etiquette, but can we shift into the little ring from the big ring under pressure? Ready? Yep. I'm back. Yeah. Not the most exciting test actually after all that. Little ring. Big ring. Little ring. Big ring. Little ring. Big ring. Little ring. Big ring. Brilliant. Ah, that was a cool ride. Very cool. Now then, inevitably, perhaps unfairly to SRAM, given the magnitude of its release, we're going to ask the question, what comes next for this? Because there are going to be one or two people that aren't catered for at the moment with SRAM ETAP. So, for example, if you normally use SRAM Wi-Fi and therefore you use a cassette bigger than 28 teeth, you're not going to be catered for. At the moment, this derailleur is limited to 28 teeth on the cassette. Equally, if you use SRAM one by, you won't be able to use that on this system. And then finally, there isn't as yet a hydraulic option on the shifters. However, given the level of investment that SRAM must have put into this, both in terms of time, hiring new personnel, and creating an entirely new manufacturing facility to handle electronics, it's fair to say that there's going to be those kind of products on the horizon. I have, of course, asked SRAM, and they've said no comment, but one can assume, perhaps, that they will be coming. And equally, maybe then, we'll also get trickled down to force and rival over the coming years. So, it will be quite interesting, and I think that will be a very good thing. Now, if you missed our first impressions video, then make sure you check that out. You can get through to it by just clicking up there. Or to see how you set up SRAM ETAP, then we've got a video showing you exactly how to do it. You can get through to that just down there. Finally, subscribe to GCN. If you haven't already, then just click, click on my shifters. Oh yeah, nice.